since time immemorial, the baking bowl has been a significant utensil in the spiritual journey. So let's see, in the place where we now find ourselves, whether we can express what the deep, deep meaning of a begging bowl means. There's that very old story of the young being who was seeking truth and enlightenment. So, taking a begging bowl and putting on the brown robe which signified the quest, the wandering mendicant, the seeker, and he set out. But to each place that he came to, he found that there was a different God and rituals that went about placating that God. But in each place he dutifully learned the rituals and got for himself an effigy of that God and placed it on his belt. But after some while his belt was laden with the effigies of the different gods and his days were filled with the rituals that were required to placate them. So it seemed that he could hardly even take a few steps on his journey because there was so much to do. But one day in those few steps he happened to meet an old monk coming the other way who could see the sweat running down his face and seeing the fatigue that was obvious. So of course one can imagine the exchange that took place and the old monk said to the young man, well why don't you take each one of these gods and bang them together? And whichever god remains, make that your chosen ideal. So the young man thought that this was a very good idea. So at the appointed time in each day he would take out the god and bang it against another god and he found that they would just crumble in the dust until finally after some while he was left with only one effigy and he thought well how am I going to test this God oh he thought all I have left is my begging bowl so he took out his begging bowl and he banged the effigy against it and the effigy crumbled into dust and he was left only with his begging bowl which he placed under his robe and walked off jauntily lightly down the road. Imagine this begging bowl. And then in Japan, where there has been for ages that custom of begging and the begging bowl, in a certain monastery, the acolytes after their teachings and learning the sutras and so forth, were required to take their begging bowl out to the town to beg. And they were instructed that they should chant or ring their little bell. But it was found by the head monk 
that all the accolades were very embarrassed about going to town. They did not like begging. They would titter and uh, resist the time that they had to go out to perform this task. And the head monk sat them all down and he scolded them. Don't you know that the true meaning of begging is to learn humility, to learn receptivity, to learn non-judgment, to learn acceptance, whether you received something sweet or sour or stale or fresh. But still, there was that reluctance, embarrassment. And so the word came to the abbot himself. So he called all of the accolades together and he said, I am going to give you a gift. Oh, they all thought to themselves, how wonderful we're going to receive a gift. I'm going to allow you to experience the true meaning of begging. From this moment on, no food will be served in the monastery. Well, after a few days of a grumbling stomach, and the feeling of emptiness that came along with this earnestness of begging became part of the accolades life. They went out into the streets and they chanted with dedication. They chanted they rang their bells. Not only did they experience the meaning of begging, but when after some time the abbot of the monastery gathered them together, he said to them, not only have you experienced humility and a receptivity, non-judgment and acceptance, you have reached the brink of that place where the true meaning of the begging bowl lies. Food will now be served. In this place where we stand in stillness, humility, non-judgment, acceptance, and receptivity have come with the territory of being in this place. But what is it that the true meaning, where did it originate? Where arose this tradition of the begging bowl. What's the deep, deep meaning that arises for you from this place of what has given a rise after so many, many, many decades of the significance, the true meaning 
of the baking bowl. What's the first thing that comes to our mind when we imagine ourselves holding a begging bowl? Empty, 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 isn't it? Empty. Holding it out to receive whatever it is that it's to be filled with. And our spiritual journey has been one where we've learned humility, non judgment, receptivity, and acceptance. But what's its deep, deep meaning? What is the feeling for us in this place? Haven't you noticed about yourself, perhaps when you're greeting someone now, that your arms are always open, figuratively or literally, isn't it? Don't you feel yourself, nothing to hide, no more loincloth, no more fig leaf, just open, empty. What arises for you as the deep meaning of this the picking bowl? Yes. 